Hello and welcome everybody to a special uh, episode of Table Talk Thursday. This is episode 52, kind of. It's it's technically like 51 or whatever because we messed up forever it's ago. It's technically 51. But we're rolling with it. It's been <laughs> almost a year anyway. Who counts? Didn't, didn't, didn't we have a short... We had a short February this year. Right? No, no we didn't. Did we have one last year? Maybe last year. Yeah. But I mean, Thursday's never really affected. I mean, it, it, the whole year gets shorter or whatever. Mm. So, eh, whatever. Good enough. We'll take Sounds the one day and we'll say that it was a Thursday. It's good. <laughs> but it, anyway, thank you all for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Tucker on the Score one with my co-host here. Raining Death 909. This one is game. So, first of all, I'm going to say that uh, we take a shot of this Tito's vodka in so, honor of Tito here. And it smells like rubbing alcohol. So, so. salute to one year. Too bad. I haven't drunk vodka in a while. <laughs> it actually, it was kind of not a super amount of burn. Pretty smooth. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna drink water. It's slowly burning down my fucking esophagus and stuff, though. Mm. Ah, good old alcohol. <clears throat> it definitely tastes like rubbing alcohol, too. Yes, yes, it does. The Nikolai is actually better than this. Did you have something. it? Well, the Nikolai is really good. It, it's so cheap, but it's really good. Like, if that's what they have in Russia, I need to buy, like, the hammer and sickle vodka that's in that glass bottle. Mm -hmm. It's, like, legit ultra-communism. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah. I think he, we wanted to go through and, I guess, kind of talk a bit about, uh, you know, where we came from, why we started this, you know. Where did we go, give, Cotton Eye Joe? Pretty much. You know, give, give the folks. I guess I'll try some of that. You know, give y'all, the viewers at home, you know, a bit of idea of, you know, what's going on, you know, behind the scenes stuff. No, we really haven't done that too directly. Well, we did it. Well, no, we really didn't. I mean, we did a, what is it, the, the half a year in review? Or the, the we, we did, did the, the year, year in review, review for 2017. For 2017. Yeah. This is our one year anniversary show. Uh, this is uh, Bottle Jameson, by the way. He's never tried. I told him it's really good. So anyway, I'll, I'll let you talk a little bit more before we get retoasted again. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, I know. But basically, you know, we really started this because we are friends, and of course, we used to be co-workers at the last place. Before uh, whatever that whatever show that was, whatever number that was, I don't remember. There was a show where everything was covered for the reason why I am no longer. But... On the positive note, I got a job finally. Yes, so that's this, also really good news. Yep, I'll be back to streaming regularly. Well, we'll besides be the, the talk show, back to streaming, working out of Dallas. Yes, big deal there. And, and hopefully, he gets to come join me. I keep I'm pushing for him to just come anyway. <laughs> I, I'm sure he'll find a job. I'm sure everything will work out completely fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite I'm quite confident. I really have no doubt of that. So. But yeah, so, you know, when we were co-workers, you used to talk a lot about the news and politics and such, because, you know, we're doing our work and just we got nothing else to talk about. We, we did something that passed the time, basically. We talked about, you know, ideas. I remember we went in detail about space things. We, we actually haven't done a space show. So you know, we really haven't. It's depressing. Yeah. Well, Elon Musk, do some more things. You can talk about space. <laughs> we can do that, like, you know, the Dallas show. Speaking of which. Panning outside. All right, so this is our space show. Speaking, Speaking of which, which what? Elon Musk has recently gotten approval from the FTC to release like 4,000 satellites into space as a part of his uh, as part of the satellite network thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I knew he was already going to do like the thousand whatever like this this year starting. I think it was actually supposed to start in June. Hmm. I think he's supposed to start really soon. Um, so yeah. So 4,000 and everybody in the world gets internet. Yeah. Then I'm going to take the little satellite that I have out there and just kind of point it up slightly and mm -hmm. hit some sort of satellite. Yeah. And everything's going to be good. No, not really. You know what's funny? I thought about it. I was like, we're making so much money. What if I still, what if we come back and then I just buy the stupid trust tower anyway? <laughs> I bet, I bet that I can make enough money that if I, even if I put like $200 away every, you know, couple weeks to pay for the tower of like 120 feet, I can get all that stuff done. Before there's better internet at this house. Probably so, yeah. It's so depressing that it hurts, <laughs> but so accurate. It's so funny. My parents are like, oh, when you go, you're still going to pay for the internet, right? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> so are they going to downgrade or what? 
I assume so. I'm not going to pay for shit I'm not using. I mean, it's correct. <laughs> and, then, and then your mom's shows are going to start buffering. She's going to be like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then your dad's shitty, like, what is it? This is his Chinese eBay is just gonna like not work. He's not gonna be able to bid snipe or anything. No, again. he got. It's funny because he was just complaining about this, that this evening. He's like, every bit, everything got bid sniped. <laughs> Did you tell him there's an app for that? Yeah. Well, I mean, you probably don't want to tell him that for that. No. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, so we just talked about a bunch of stuff, and we're like, oh, you know, we're streamers, we're Twitch streamers, we're doing this. Let's make a show out of it. Was that really streaming at the time? Yes. I guess it was. Yeah, I suppose so. Because, I mean, we, cause we started the show about the same, around the same time that I started streaming. Mm. So I must have, I had been started streaming for a while, I guess. Yeah, because, I mean, this streaming, our streaming, was the inspiration for me to get into streaming. Yep. And, like, you know, Caster Valley. Really, my inspiration for streaming was a dude named Burke Black. He just, like, in one of his videos, like, so you want to do streaming? Do it. And he just like went through and I liked the video. And then John Caster died and then I met some cool people. And then now we have Speakeasy, which semi grows on its own, semi not really. I mean it, it grows and we get people. Yeah. That's what people say. It's, it's organic. <laughs> and, 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 bit, and the good slowly. thing about it is that, you know, we're getting good people then. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Like, you know, I haven't been posting these in the stream for much. I don't know think about it. Yeah. I've been neglecting the channel that nobody uses. It's now being used. Virtual's been right. using it. I know. Yeah. About time. About time somebody uses it. You know, so what's it? I, I lost it. my train of thought. Uh, you're talking about streaming. This is like when we started streaming. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my Discord is broken. So it is. Yeah. Alright. And I, and I mean, when I started streaming, you know, I, I waited. I got everything together. Because, like, I was going to do it, and I was like, look, I'm doing it for me. That's the, that's why I stream. I do it for me. Because I want to show other people, you know, this is what I'm playing. You know, this is what I'm getting out of it. And, hey, if somebody likes it, great. I don't pay attention to the chat. Get I should. Bad. I'm supposed to. Sometimes there's a proper streamer. But well, I'm, it depends. I mean, if that's that's not your thing, that's what you think. I like interacting with people, and I like meeting people. So that's why I do it that way. But I get, I'm too focused in the game, and I don't... Because I'm looking at that, and then if I have a screen down here, I don't... You know, it's my focus is not on that, and then I'll be like... Well, part of it, sometimes I, I miss chat. Sometimes I feel bad. And then it's like, people say stuff, and I'm like, Hey, yo, okay, whatever, responding back to their stuff. And I'm like, but they're probably long gone, because that shit was like an hour ago. <laughs> You know, not that bad, but I you know, just like I just don't bother with it. It's like great. I'm glad that people are coming, but I mean, I'm doing it for the content, you know, to for show. Sure. Yes, and he wants me to stream all these games for his pure amusement. Fucking all, basically all the horror games. Oh yeah, we're gonna be playing <laughs> Cry of Fear soon. Oh joy! Yeah. I still can't stream it until I get you know, a new place, but mm -hmm. you know, so I'm thinking about that. Speaking of which, like. So the Belmar we already know has fiber. Mm -hmm. and it's a good fiber. place. Yeah. I just, uh, so no, I feel like we can do better. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. The whole house thing. Houses are nice. Yeah, houses are nice. Yeah. I don't know. I you know we were gonna originally gonna cover like news, but I, I'm thinking I just kind of want to do an informal, just kind of hang out, talk about I guess us or whatever, or talk about everything else. Mm. So according to this. I mean, there's very obvious news. We can cover, you know, the the headlines and just say mm -hmm. the headlines because, well, it, I mean, there was the YouTube shooting. There was the fucking oh, the, the trade war we're getting in. Yeah, this is new trade. There's the Trump fucking over the economy and it's probably gonna crash. It's a little late. Mm -hmm. We have some videos about censorship in Malaysia. Oh, well, maybe we can show that. And let's see, what, what else we got? Fucking yeah, the trade war, trade war. Oh trade yes, war. the. Uh, Ohio governor who's just like, those teachers who want money. Is it uh, Ohio? I thought it was Oklahoma. Uh, it, Oklahoma as well. Oh. They're, yeah. Well, the Ohio governor is denying um, Trump's retarded call to action. I do, were we, is the story in here? I mean, I, we're, so. I guess we're not going to do it. But, you know, Trump's trying to call the National Guard and go defend the border. Oh, yeah, no, that's in here. Oh, okay. But it's the southern border, of course, Ohio, what the fuck. Well, no, but the National Guards from all over the country yeah. is going to the border. Yeah. And she's denying, since she's the governor... She's the governor of the state. The National Guard. Yes, because 
the National Guard is for, unless it's a national emergency or something, she can deny that, which is true. Mm-hmm. Very accurate. Which, which is, is good. good. Yeah, exactly. Which is good. And hello, fucking Dakota. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, hey, Dakota. We're, we're doing the doing the dance. You know, I really need to get Discord back up. Mm-hmm. So I could read shitty shit from <laughs> Not Safe for Work. Or I actually, I really wanted to post the fucking stream from it. You can do it. I could do it. Just copy and paste it and do it. I'm not, I'm not having good times with you. Mm-hmm. My, mm-hmm. my Discord is not enough to play now. Oh, hey, it changed to orange mode again. Yeah. It is it. Oh, that's right, you, you post them fucking, you have the weird non-big format. Mm-hmm. Just make sure to update the number. And then say, you know, special year show or whatever. One year celebration show, I think is what it's called it. I really need to post the cast for my I'm just like scared of them getting mad if I post my stream promo in there. Because you know, they, mm-hmm. they were not, they didn't like that. Oh, yeah. I was going to say your name's Green. I was like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> I thought it was one of the uh, supporters. Mm. Why did it just change to white? That's the... how I have it set. Oh. Uh, weird. So do you actually have that set that way when you're at home at playing mm-hmm. games and shit? Well, no, I mean, obviously I mean, you don't play Dead yeah, by yeah. Daylight. No, no. But if I'm playing games, any full screen application, it goes back to normal. Oh, okay. So it's the window that does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have specifically Chrome set as well. Uh, okay. Anyways. Makes some sense. Yep. So, so, yeah, so we started this, and it's, it's, it, I think we've really come a long way since we started. Yeah, a little bit. I mean... Because I, I was looking into, you know, how we began and how, what our setup was... Um, originally. Ah, oh, I want to play Battletech. Fuck, six days ago. Look at it. He played the damn game. Who's that sexy in the white shirt coming on me? Who is that? Who is the hydrophobic? I'm not familiar with that person, but hello, nurse. Hello. Anyway. Yeah. And it's so, it's so, it's good to see our evolution in development as a show. Uh, I mean, we've definitely got, you know, the title bars here, which we didn't. We didn't used to have that, I don't think. I don't know, I was going to check. I was going to bring up one of our old videos, actually. And then I think we probably had the stuff above here. It was a different color. But it was a different color, different area as well. Yes. You know. Yes. Uh, I remember, because like now, I put a lot more effort into this, and I like super cut the stories down to get the key facts and what you know you need to know quickly. Mini Mooma Girl, thank you for following. Hello, Mini Mooma Girl. Mini Mooma Girl. <laughs> I, uh, I was like trying to. Let's see, I'm scrolling all the way down as far as possible. Uh, right. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 yeah. Those are some of my original. These are, that's the OG content that I uploaded years ago. Yeah. Like the fireplace. Here we go. There's the uh, thing. <laughs> Not safe for work, boy. Like the fireplace. Good day. Um, episode good. 7. Is that how far back I got? I guess so. Yeah, see, this is the original, like, uploads from forever ago. That's yeah. when I was doing the YouTube videos, and then that's whenever I started, like, swapping streams over to there. Uh, let's, let's see episode 7. See? Is it, is it episode 7? I see 10, and I see 8. Oh, episode 7, yeah, question, mark. question mark. Was that when we lost count all the way back then? <laughs> Probably. Because, let's see, 8, 10, 8, 9, 10... But that's because it was a, a failed thing. Yeah. That's when we went to uh, oh, yeah, when the we had court, court Texas meet it. Oh man, I had lost my job art before we went. I didn't, I didn't remember that. Did you? Yeah, this is July 24th. Yeah. Oh, uh, that might be when it might have been when you uploaded it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, because we went to the Texas meetup right before we lost our job. That's right. Mm-hmm. Actually, no. No, I had already. I think I had lost my job. No, you hadn't. Well, you interviewed in Austin. We were we were already looking for jobs. That's what it was. Yeah. Yes. So anyway, let me bring this up real quick. Apparently, I did this at four twenty-two uh, a.m. I'm not safe for her to leave. Let's see. Uh, let's can I assume I can watch this? Well, we've had so we had the the, the the startup thing from here from way back when. I'm assuming it's playing sound. Uh, it 
It sounds like it's muted. Oh, there we go. It does yeah. have sound. Hmm. Neither does, because you used to play that. So let me, let me switch over here. Yeah, so let's just see. So so we still have... Well, nobody can see us, because we're not set up that way. Yeah. I mean, I could pull us into here, I think. Well, yeah, no, I don't have whatever. a green screen, so it wouldn't work. Yeah, I'm better. But anyway, so I mean, we still the have the countdown time, and I'm, I'm gesturing, even though nobody can see. So, actually, no. So, the, the, whenever I started caring about the talk show... Okay, so actually, we did have the topic all the way back then. Yeah, we had the topic back then. Okay, the top text was different color. Yep. Uh, talk show was a different color. We had the follow So, we had the green screen, see, back yeah, then. Yeah, that was back when we had the green screen. Man, that was back when Kemp had glasses. Look at that. Yeah. I still have glasses. I'm using the same monitor. This is back when we were at the other house. Oh, this is before we had the yeah. back cover for the dildo. As I smack the microphone <laughs> and forget that we're alive and that makes sound. Anyway, so I mean, but this is how we used to run everything. Yes, this is the <laughs> this is the, the fuck you on Millwall guy. Yeah, I think it's somewhere near there. Oh, God. Oh, my. That is quite loud. Oh, that's the one with the... Oh, that's uh, the Ariana that's, Grande yeah, yeah. Uh, attack. Anyways. Yeah. Oh, my God. Because the Millwall stuff wasn't until next week with the London Bridge attack. London Bridge is falling down. Anyways. Yeah. So that, that was just a, just a representation. And now this is what we look like live. I mean, <laughs> you're more in our face. I mean, that was, yeah, we were a little bit further back. Kenneth had his hair tied back. I don't know, man. You look... Your head looks thinner there. It, it there? looks in there. Like mm. it looks it looks like an egg. <laughs> it does. I mean look at it. Well, well I can't hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Number one. Oh, number <laughs> number two. Two. <laughs> I mean it might also be because it's right here. Yeah, right it's a bit closer because before it was a bit further. Well I mean this is this is the new table talk setup. The old setup was to do that stuff. See if we had the green screen we could, you know, when we switch over to videos we could do that. Except like, you know, we just do this and now we're the the video is full screen. While we yeah. sit there and talk about it. I mean maybe eventually whenever we get the green screen set back up we can change that back up. Yeah, yeah and we're working to improve it. I mean whenever you get this new job and I get this new job, we're gonna get some you know, Gato stream deck. What, who looks and like a, gar a garbage can? They talking about in the old like, We're gonna be hitting setup? buttons and shit will be flying across the screen. Oh, no. We're gonna get fancy up in here. Well, since everybody's here, since you boys are here, here's the uh, the Jameson, you know, whatever. If uh, Panda or anybody wants to pull oh, out one of the big shots, for this. here we go. This is Jameson, come pie, bitches. Hey, not too bad. It's a bit sweeter. <laughs> That's kind of like I need more water. I need to see if there's any uh, Sprite. But as far as whiskey goes, you've had Jack, right? Is this better than Jack? Like, it's it's a bit smoother. It still has, you know, obviously alcohol burn, but it's not... It's sweeter, too. James, this is definitely better than Jack. Yeah, I'll just avoid both. I don't know what to do with you. Just didn't... Uh, hypnotic. I just, I do you drink hypnotic? I don't think I've had hypnotic. I've heard good things about it. I've also heard that it fucks you up. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, what's funny is, I have all the alcohol in these couple minutes. Ooh. We need that house with the left bar. <laughs> the one that you showed us. Mm hmm. Um, let's see what we got here. I don't remember if Kate left her alcohol or not. Man, yeah, so how y'all doing out there this evening? I know I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I'm excited to have the uh, one-year show. That's definitely a pretty... That's a big achievement, I'd say. I mean, shit. Being able to do something like this for a whole year. I mean, hell, there are people who give up diets in the month. <laughs> Alright. So now we got another. Okay, what is that? This is sweet. I'm out of water, so... <laughs> I'll have to grab another one. This one's actually decent. So, here we have, and it's basically, of course, just shot, shot, shot night, except you don't work tomorrow. That sucks for me. I am sorry. 
Yeah, so, I mean, if this was a Friday, then... So we got uh, Michael's Irish Cream Liquor. So it's Irish Cream. Yeah, well, Irish Cream's usually very sweet. Yeah, have you had Irish Cream? Or? Yeah, yeah, I've had, like, buttery nipples and such. <sighs> I'm gravely reminded of the conversations <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Uh, it's only three uh, shots you're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll know if I can't drive. And if I can't, I'll call my parents. <laughs> I mean, you'll sneak it off. It's fine. You might have to come pick up your car, though. Yeah, well, I won't really have a way to get here. Yeah, so. I can take you to work, Kenneth. We can get to Dan when you get along. Hmm. Well, we're, while he's doing that, I want to start talking about the damn trade tariffs and fucking Trump destroying the American economy. It's all over, folks. Yes, but he's actually doing it in extremely damaging ways now. So, folks, as you may have heard, Trump and Trump is getting into a trade war with China. Join that. And it's going to be bad, folks. And it's going to be great. Uh, everything's going to get more expensive by the day. Your 401ks and all your stock investments are c- crashing to the ground. You can be mine yours. And mine. I've been hit... I said mine and yours. Yes, both of our investments have been hit quite heavily by this. I've lost thousands. Because trouble. And this trade war. Anyways, so Joyner slaps tariffs on 106 US products, including soy, cars, and chemicals. Which, if you don't know, uh, China buys half of the US supply of soy and sorghum. So, this is a major hit to the soy market of a 25% tariff. So, this will devastate them. Soy stocks. Dipped. Soy? Yes. Did you say soy? I said soy. The fucking hipsters, man. They're gonna be so outraged. Well, it's actually China. Is China it? super uses soy. Really? Oh, yeah. Probably they consume half it. of the U.S. supply of soy. Really? Yep. Interesting. They do. They put in work. <laughs> so it's devastating. on my balls. Beautiful. Soy stocks dropped $300 at the announcement. What the fuck is soy stock at? If it can drop it was $300. at 1000 yeah, ain't that, ain't that crazy? Who owns, who owns soy? Like, stock and well, soy? No, no, no. Well, it's like, it's a commodity. So you're buying, like, tons of it. Oh, God. Yeah, so whatever, how many tons of whatever it is of soy is what you buy. Are we buy. talking about tons, T-O-N-S, or tons, T-O-N-N-E-S? Fuck you. <laughs> American tons. T-O-N-S. Yes. Instead of tonus, even though it's tons, but it's fucking... European bullshit. Yep. So China has announced a tariff, which is in a move likely to heighten global concerns of a tit for tat trade war Where's between the world's started? biggest economies. Oh, that fan's doing good work, finally. Uh, the effective start date for the changes has not been announced, though the China's Ministry of Commerce said the tariffs were designed to target $50 billion in US products annually. Oof. Like I said, it's a 25% levy on U.S. imports of products such as soy, cars, whiskey, and uh, various chemicals. So, your Jameson's just got more expensive in China. Well, this isn't even... Jameson's Irish whiskey. It is actually... I believe it actually has Irish... Uh, yeah, because for, uh, for it to be Irish whiskey, it actually has to be, be produced in... Uh, yeah, it says bottled in Ireland. Triple distilled, though. Yeah. John... Uh, so... China proposed countermeasures prompted the U.S. stocks to plunge, with the Dow Jones taking more than 450 points, with Boeing and Caterpillar leading all stocks in the <laughs> index lower. You know what's funny about Caterpillar? You know they, they embezzled tons of money, as we've covered. And the guy who uh, whistleblowed about it came out with hundreds of millions of dollars. And he that's probably thing, will folks. never get a job again. He doesn't need a job at that point. I guess that's true. That's the thing, folks. If you're if you know your company's doing financial bullshit and you report on it uh, whatever the government finds on them you get like a 10% cut so just make sure they rack up hundreds of thousands or millions billions or billions whatever 
you know, because like, yeah, you can go snitch on for that hundred dollars they owe the government, but then you're gonna lose your job, and it's like, oh, I made ten fucking dollars. What? I'm sure it's a base fee. Yeah. Oh, the scrubs are playing Pixar. <laughs> anyway, uh, it says here. So his quote: "I think Beijing is being very keen to show that it's not going to be bullied too." Uh, it says. Uh, China is in the position that this is them responding to American aggression rather than necessarily being a part of the problem. Which he's quite right. Because Trump was the one who brought all this trade war bullshit on. He's like, I'm gonna... Like, I don't understand why. Like, does, he, he does he explain why he thinks this He works? doesn't understand eco- He doesn't understand economics. But I mean, like... Nobody I'm not, wins I'm in a not trade... Econ- I'm not an economist, but I understand that whenever you levy a tax on somebody else to import their shit, sure you make more money... But it makes the price of whatever the fuck we're importing go up. It's yes, it simple. Makes, well, it makes the price up. It also decreases the amount that people would actually buy. So it hurts the other economy, the foreign economy. Yeah. And then the foreign economy retaliates by attacking other things. And then you get a trade war. Yeah. Well, and on top of that, you know, like uh, the old age-old economy thing, you know, supply and demand. It fucks with the supply and it also fucks with the demand. Mm-hmm. So, again, Trump has no understandings of economics. Nope. And I mean, this is this is going to be devastating. Devastating. Anyway, so while we're on from that, let's go to the U.S.'s response. And Donald Trump <laughs> being retarded. Yep. So the U.S. in retaliation to its retali- to China's retaliation to its retaliation. Has proposed tariffs on 1,300 Chinese goods. President Donald Trump today has instructed the United States Trade Representative to consider a hundred billion dollars in additional tariffs on top of the 30 or 50 billion dollar tariffs he's already putting into place. So, our trade deficits between the United States and China were already about 70 to 80 billion. And this is only going to increase it. And it was so bold. He was such a fucking idiot. He put out a tweet. And he's like, well, when you're 500 billion down in trade deficit, you can only go up from there. And I'm like, no, Trump. It's not how that works. When you hit rock bottom, you can only spend your way out and go up from there. Yeah. It's like people in debt getting more credit cards and then spending more and going further into debt. Mm-hmm. No wonder why all like most of his companies failed and they ended up going bankrupt. Eleven bankruptcies. Yes. So, and like I said, how so, does somebody survive without any bankruptcies? Yeah. I guess small loans of millions of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, depends on how they do it, because a lot of the time, uh, he he was saying that apparently we don't get how economics work. Really? No, he said something. Is there a hotline in here? I don't I don't know what that means, but sure. I'm assuming something, something homosexual reference. Or... Apparently, his nipples can cut glass. <clears throat> yes, the nipples you can't see on camera. Yep. I mean, I can't see unless I focus on them. John must really love your nipples, man. I'm. He, it's 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 weird. It's weirding me out. It's it's it's, <laughs> it's weirding me out. It's okay. You won't be there for very long. Thankfully. Because uh, oh, like, and they just start like, Lane's nipples. Lane's oh, next. <laughs> I mean, like, you bring, he brought it up once, and I'm like, okay, haha, blah, 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 move along. You didn't know what a hotline is? Like, are you talking about hotline as in a phone line? Or are you talking about some other shit? Uh, I don't. Is, is he talking about, like, some Chinese soup kitchen level homosexuality, or is he talking about. Okay, so he's talking about a phone line. No, we don't have a phone line. That would be interesting. That might be a good idea in the future, although we would just get trolled. Probably so. But it'd be funny. We'll, we'll just put the number like above here, like, call 999999. You know, we five, can five, actually five, five. get a, uh, I was just saying we get a Skype. You can, we can actually use Google Voice. You can actually answer it through the, uh, the web, web page. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then so we can just be like, hello, this is the Table Talk Thursday news crew. How are you doing? And it's just like, I just want to tell you guys, here are a bunch of faggots. And then that's there you probably go. what that's people probably, will say. Like, hey, hey, my name is, uh, P.I. Staker. Oh, yes. Mr. Piss Taker, how are you today? <laughs> um, nah, we'll, we'll have to screen your calls. <laughs> Stop screening my calls, damn it! <laughs> well, because I mean, uh, you know, Google will automatically screen the calls. It's like you're getting a call from, and then they say their name or whatever. And if they don't say their name, we don't answer. There you go. I mean, I can, 
not say their real name, they can say their you know, shitty username. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways. So, and here's a Trump, here's a quote from Trump. In light of China's unfair retaliation, English? I've instructed the USTR, I can't do a good Trump voice, to consider whether 100 billion of additional tariffs would be appropriate under Section 301, and if so, to identify which products to impose the tariffs. They were introduced as retaliatory measures against Trump, who just 24 hours prior listed more imports he planned to tariff. Proposed tariffs include robotics. Or IT. Robotics? I, this motherfucker's attacking Communication technology and aerospace. An area in which China fe- uh, Trump feels China could unfairly advance with the U.S. help of intellectual property. Basically, Trump's big deal is apparently he's, he's accusing China of um, taking um, like uh, U.S. companies who want to do business there. He's accusing China of saying, hey, if you want to do business here... You must either reveal your trade secrets to us, or you must move your patents to be under the Chinese patent office. Under the Chinese or under the American? Under the Chinese patent office. This is China saying oh, okay. to American businesses who want to do business there. Fuck either that. give up your trade secrets or put, move your patents to China. Either way, you've just given China your information, which they will then give to a Chinese citizen to then make your product. Yeah, which, which will do the old Chinese reproduction things. Which will then destroy you. Do you, Cutter, do you think that's our, our IP address? Because you're You're absolutely wrong. correct. What? Huh? Yes. Huh? That's completely correct. That's our IP address, yep. Yeah. Okay. Feel fun. Go attack it. DDoS it to your heart's content. Okay. <laughs> Tune out of me number Have one. Have a blast. <laughs> Have a blast. God bless! <laughs> <laughs> Who is that person, anyway? I haven't a clue. Is that... Well, they put they picture of themselves. I don't know who that is. Is that fucking... Pick nuts? What? Lane? L-I-N-E? That's not Lane. Is it Lane? No, Lane's is some weird name, I thought. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's some... Some kid. No followers. Following four. four. Only one video. Pathetic. Pathetic. We, right. we need this. We need this. The uh, uh, fucking principal Skinner. Just pathetic. I'm telling you, man. We're gonna get that Ogata Stream Deck, and I'm just gonna have a ton of things pre-programmed in. The buttons better have gifts on them. Of course they will. Sweet. We have to, cause goddamn, there's gonna be so many of them. Yeah. Is it, isn't it 80 buttons? No, no, no. So it's like 15 buttons, and then you can put folders, and you can put folders in the folders, up to like. 200 something folders. No, oh, nice. That's way too much. I mean, we're going to have a folder for scrubs, trolls, goodbye, kick, ban, destroy. At least I know what academics are not some dumb liberal from San Fran. Question mark. Alrighty then. Uh, a, you're based in Texas, sir. Get your back straight. You're a goddamn communist. And I don't take kindly to communist. Probably is some sort of communist bastard. Yeah, probably from Seattle. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh god, those people are the worst. <laughs> now he's probably some sort of southern retardo, honestly. Some sort of southern conservative. I get it, retardo. I get it, I understand. You're from Mississippi, so let me talk slowly for you. Nah, dude, they're from Bama. I fuck my cousin too! <laughs> we have a good time! Woo wee! Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. So, uh, let's roll the video on the uh, fake news from Malaysia. Because that's a serious concern going on in Malaysia. And I don't... And I'm worried that Trump may see... Somebody's talking about banning fake news. How can we take it? Put on that headset here. Because you know Trump will see that and be like... Oh, Trump loves fake news. That's a great idea. As soon as somebody says fake news, they're like, Oh, my dick is hard. I heard fake and news in the same sentence. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Duterte. 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 Is that how you say it? Duterte? Six years in jail. Is it full screen? Their flags are suns. Praise the sun. Look at his face though. I don't know. Kind of looks funny to me. 
Mm-hmm. Do what now? What so, so part of part of this uh, rise of this fake news bill was also because he's been accused by uh, world governments of stealing money from Malaysia. Like he's the president, and he's been accused of stealing hundreds of millions. Him and a bunch of his other cronies. You know, I'm surprised that uh, Trump hasn't been there yet, even though, like, oh, yeah, totally support my daughter's company. I totally put money into my own companies in, because of mar lago hmm Yeah. So he's, he's trying to push this through so that way he can take anybody who says anything bad about him and it's suddenly fake news. And guess what? You're going to prison for six years. Good thing we have the First Amendment for what that's good for sometimes. I mean, we're one of the few nations that has a very good, nearly you know, absolute freedom of speech. I don't think it's absolute. Stuff. It's not absolute. It's been slowly whittled away for the past few years. I mean, the Patriot Act helped. And, and there's also reasonable limitations, like not yelling fire in a theater. You can't do that. That is illegal because you're out, you're causing panic in, you know, such a crowded area and could cause harm. Mm-hmm. And that's a reasonable limitation, I'd say. I, I guess. You disagree? I mean, do people even react to somebody yelling fire anymore? I don't know. I think like I think a decent part of the population is like is dead inside of me. It's like, ah, yes, the hellfire comes to consume me. Are you ready to do the shot? Yeah. Got a nice chocolate taste of chocolate. It should go well with the Irish cream. Uh, going back to the video. This is the Irish cream. Again, oh hi. It's Irish cream. Yeah, good, sweet. Mm-hmm. And that one's actually five dollars off with the Specs key card. Hmm. I need to get that. It wasn't that bad. No, I mean it was like. It, it went from like twenty five down to like twenty ish, eighteen nine nine somewhere. Our specs is pretty damn good. It's decent. There's not a lot of stuff like at the Richmond one. I can't find the fucking tequila we had with your dad. I really want that tequila. Which one was that? Huh? Which tequila was that? I don't remember. Oh, you it mean that one of the three things that you tried? Yeah. Well, the no, one, one of that those... you, you you tried the barley and that killed you. Oh, one of those was the, the that rye? was that was gin. I'm pretty sure. Matt, yeah, but I'm kidding, yeah. No, was it with your... No, it wasn't with you guys. That was when I went by myself one time. But there was this, this lady was like, we've got some really special tequila. And I was like, sure, hit me up with that. And I drank it, and I was like, oh my god, stuff's sweet. It's amazing. But it was like 30 or $40 a bottle. I'm sure you could ask them, and they could find out. Just say you're looking for like a sweet tequila. Mm-hmm. And it was on special, and it's like 30 40 bucks. And I'm sure it's probably a pretty tight market. Maybe. Wow, there's a lot of tequila. Uh, Tons of tequila brands. Yeah, but how many tequilas are sweet? That's a very good question. How many tequilas don't fucking destroy your life? Mm-hmm. Good question. Not enough. You go, you want to get vod- vodkila. Mm. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. Do you know what that is? I'm guessing vodka and tequila mixed together. Or something? Yeah. yeah, it's actually a brand that you can buy. Yeah, that sounds like a recipe for disaster. Yeah. Sounds great to me. Woo! Anyway. No, I did have some of that hypnotic. It's Sprite. Yes. That's right. Yes. Apparently this, this goes to Sprite. I actually drank this with the Dr. Pepper I had, and I'm sad that there's no more Dr. Peppers in there, because I'm going to drink some more than that. Mm. But it's not. Anyway, I'm going to roll in the video today. Also, for the folks at home, a little behind the scenes about um, corporate news is that you see the background areas behind them? That's actually just a television that's just like really zoomed in it just, and it has a light and it's broadcasting from a live camera showing the actual outside. Because I know some people, because I know you get those like areas where like sometimes, you know, you're like seeing a busy newsroom in the background and such. Yep, just television and the camera. Or it's, uh, well, some of the stuff that's actually a busy news. Well, no, a lot of it, some of it I'm assuming is television, it's television and uh, background. Some of it is green screen as well, sometimes. Maybe. I don't like know. Like where, where the, especially where the, uh, the weather guy is. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the weather guy, of course, it has to be a green screen and whatnot. Cause... But I mean, like, some of the other ones are also green screens too. I'm pretty sure. It depends on the news agency, though. Too. Some of them, like the Good Morning America stuff, shows actually have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And shit. yeah. That stuff that's the actual people dying, of course. Yeah. Anyways, there's a little behind the scenes. Fake news. It's all fake news. CNN fake news. I just want to point out something really cool. Look at this building behind these dudes it's doing a fucking screen and shit. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Yeah? Yep. That's a major concern. Oh, he's in Hong Kong. Huh? Hong oh. Kong. Yeah. You tell me that in a minute. Yep. No, absolutely. That's definitely going yeah. to happen there. What? With, I mean, with the the risk of fake news, because like I said, the yeah. government will take it out of. Well, it's, oh, like, it, hell. it's like fucking Trump calling shit fake news. The mm-hmm. whole fake news thing was it's just is a really decrim- a joke, and now everybody's kind of going hopping on that train just because the U.S. president can basically get away with it. Yeah, and I mean the thing is, he is destroying the fourth estate. It is. Our president is really setting, paving the way for some real invention. Yeah, because I mean, uh, if you're making, if you're saying everything is fake news, that everything's against you, or even if it's not against you, that it's all fake news, and you're turning the American people against the ability to trust the news media, which in some cases the news media really sh- shouldn't be trusted. And but I mean, people should be skeptical, you know, trust but verify kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's saying you can't trust anybody except for himself. Yeah. And that's a scary thing. That's like end level narcissism. That's like, you know, dictatorship kind of. That too. I mean, you know, dude went out and said, oh, yeah, congratulations, fucking Chinese, what is it, president or whatever, mm-hmm. for making it to where you can have an infinite term. Mm-hmm. I, we should, to, America should adopt Do something that. like that, yeah. yeah. He was like, wow. Yeah, so I mean, it's just bullshit. A little bit. This looks like a very good sexual act, though. Perfect. <laughs> it's just like, mm, she's just like, oh, yeah. No, and he's absolutely correct. I mean, it's it's a very dangerous thing. And especially around election time, when everything is so sensitive and so in the air, and especially whenever your president has been stealing billions, and everybody knows it, but they can't do anything about it. Yep. Yeah. Which is awful. I don't think it's hard enough for this. Back to the uh, man behind the curtain. Hey, how about, you want to explain about this a little bit since this is a special year in review show? Yeah, sure. So this is basically how we're doing the show, is that we take the stories. He does. Man. Well, I take the stories. I will do it. I, I just, I hear it. I'm here and I talk. Yeah. Thankfully. Because I take the stories and I cut them up. Uh, well, somet- I don't cut them up, but sometimes I present you with stories as I find them. And then I cut them up. Yeah. Yeah, because that basically helps us streamline the show and get to a, a lot of stories in a short amount of time. Because we cover somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 plus stories in a two hour period. Which is uh, quite a lot. Quite a lot of content. Yeah, well, I mean, we're a once a week show, so. Yeah, so we have to condense down everything that happened in the week. 
And sometimes we do miss things here and there. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we can't catch everything. And, and there's so much news about everything. Gosh, I, I mean, all the news I read, it's hundreds and hundreds of stories and skimming. and It's a lot. This is really high-level stuff. Things I find interesting, and I think that you folks will find interesting. And whatever he presents me. <laughs> Thanks. And whatever he presents me. Whatever things that I find interesting. Like, you know, there's, there's a lot of interesting things going on in the world. A lot of, a lot of interesting things going on. Hello. My buddy Jameson tells me that uh, a lot of interesting stuff. The, the, the liquor. Shh. The liquor's talking. <laughs> you wouldn't get the reference, though. Anybody out there watch Trailer Park Boys would get that reference. Anyway. Yeah. Pretty funny. A little brown humor. The lowest brow. Kind of my mustache level. I guess let's move on to Pork the Guy. Do what? What? Uh, are we going to cover like the Mexican troops? Go for whatever. Huh? I didn't want to cover stories. I wanted to just sit here and talk and have a game well, and, talk talk. and drink alcohol. All right, so I'm supposed to talk. I'm talking. My voice is going. I'm... <laughs> I shall drink more. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, no. What? Because Nate, Nate put me on the spot, like, I lost where we were going. So originally we were talking about how we do the show in general, how we originally came about it. Um, let's see, I'm trying to cover more about the background, I guess. Or um, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what else really to talk about. I mean, it's, like, informational about us, what goes on. So, I guess... As most of you know, you know, did we did we talk about the fact that I had to move at the time? I think we thought we covered it briefly, but you know, so the old show as we showed earlier, I was back when I was at my other house um, where I had fiber, was able to stray very often, uh, and then you know, a couple months back, I ended up having to move back over here. Now we have the nice fireplace background, which is all real, no more green screen. You know, we had a cat climb up it like that specifically. <laughs> Saw video. Really um. So there was that. Let's see. Uh, we had... It's mainly it. Uh, I'm curious to see how we're going to set this up in Dallas. Similar thing, but like I said, we're going to have a bit more accoutrements. A what? English? Uh, amenities. Oh, okay. Amenities where? Like, in our house? No, I mean, like, things for the show. We, we, should, uh, we should fucking broadcast off the balcony one of these days. If we, if we have an apartment on the balcony. That'd be kind of interesting. Yeah, but then I'd be worried. We then the, we'd have city outside, noise. We'd have outside noise. Yeah, but it'd be kind of cool. It'd be like the uh, news. Here's our current background. Look at the beautiful Dallas no, no, no. skyline. We'll get a second camera and we'll point it outside and we'll put a TV behind us like they do in real news. The I don't have enough screen. money for it. I do have a TV. Actually. I have a camera. A camera? For, like, like a webcam. Oh. I have a second. I have a webcam, so yeah. But I don't. I don't think I could like put that out to the TV. I'd have to like. We'd have to route. No, it no, to no. The just route it to your computer, and then just do the green screen behind us. And oh. there you go. Yeah, I suppose that works too. And we have an abundance of fucking tripods. That's for mm-hmm. sure. Uh, we need to. We need to eventually upgrade. We're gonna get a red 4K camera. Okay. Can, so this is actually a good question. Let's let's all talk about stuff. We need to look at apartments and stuff. Like that. Let's talk about uh, future plans now that that brought that. It's a good question. So what kind of things do you want to do? We do. I mean, we might need to get the green screen so or we could buy a whole new green screen. We can green screen an entire fucking room. Well, well, we, yes, well actually, that we would can. require us to have an extra room. I mean, I could just green screen the fucking living room. Why is the living room green? I mean, nobody's going to come over, but the people that come over, why is the living room green? <laughs> just like your fucking Ready Player One. <laughs> that was pretty fun. But no, I mean, like, then we could do the mixed reality stuff. That would be interesting. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Do we, do we really need a house? No, I guess we could paint. That's right. The fucking Dallas apartment rules are, yeah, you can paint it. Hey, you want to put shit in the wall? Put shit on the wall. Change the light fixtures? Sure. Do whatever the fuck you want. Mount it in the wall and make a giant hole? I don't care. I've never had an Just apartment Just put it back the way you found it. They've never told me that. That's the real truth of it, though, for the most part. As long as you put it back, or just be ready to pay, like, $500 in fees-ish. 
As long as they don't try to like get me with a fucking bill of replacing carpet. But none of those places really have carpet anyway, except for the other rooms. <laughs> <It's, clears throat> we gotta replace the carpet in the living room. It was fucking tile flooring. What do you mean? <laughs> it was a hardwood floor. We gotta replace the tile with the carpet. <laughs> we, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta replace the carpet because of the animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we decided we were going to the weird giant ultra hub. Uh, the uh, giant. Yes. I mean, what are you doing? She's like, hey, what's going on over here? Oh, what's going on over here? Hi, Penny. Come here, baby. Come here. Okay, let's go. Okay, well, she just came over here and... I don't know why she came over here. She just came over here and... Just right there. Yeah. Well, anyways. But, but anyway. No, I mean, like, you talked about the El Gato stream deck. That would be nifty. Mm-hmm. Is that... Is that a... I don't know, like... I don't know, I can't, I can't tell if that's a, uh... I see white around it. Yeah, but like I said, things like that. I really don't know what other upgrades we can get. I mean, probably a better webcam. It's a really good webcam, actually. That is the best kernel. Yeah, but a higher see. quality one, you know, something, you know. That is that is 4K. Nice quality. Is it, I don't think there is 4K. No, LG webcams. has a 4K. Or Logic has a 4K cam. Webcam? Yeah. For uh, streaming and shit, and it's not too expensive, I don't think. Unless I checked. Okay. As he, as he, as he does this live. Now, as I say, we can get an LED light bar or whatever. We need, we do yes, we do need to get uh, some LED lights. Yeah, see, right here, 200 bucks for 4K, 155 actually. From where? Is that new? Uh, new, yeah. So, like I told you, they came out with it like uh, late last year or something like that. Oh, but, yeah. yeah. Can it be used by multiple sources? It's got really low ratings. It's well, like I think it might be the summary of all of them. Should change per. That's what I have. Uh, but I have a 922. I suppose so, but it's also only four reviews. Well, I suppose it's true. Probably because nobody drops the money for that anyway. What do you mean? 150 bucks ain't that expensive. I guess not, no. Uh, da, 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 da. Is it that much better, though? I'd have to see. 4K 30 or 1080p at 30 and 60. Five times digital zoom. 90 degrees range. Review. 4K. Facial recognition. Uh, we don't need that. Welcome back to the show, gentlemen. <laughs> uh, that'd be hilarious. So, four star, five star, four star, three star, and one star. star. Good song. Camera meant well, but software destroys it. Software improves you from using 1080p60. That's stupid. You probably just don't know what they're doing. Who we have a friend for logic? 930p. I think that's the business one. Mm hmm. High def, no manual. Set to be using a Windows machine. Okay, well. Okay, blah blah blah, you're complaining that it's not for Linux. Mm. Uh, Mount being flexible. <clears throat> Apparently it says there's support, but there's no option. Again, I don't think these people just know how to work a camera. It, and it might be that the, the, the whole 90s and all that other stuff, that could just be fucked up, like they say. Yeah, it could be. It's well possible. And it is. But definitely it's a good picture. So we'll get this and... And light. And light bars, definitely. The Elgato Stream Deck. Uh, let's see, what other things can we do to improve this? Get art. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know, I think we have a pretty good format. I, 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 I fucking, so I asked Dakota, actually, about mm -hmm. And he's trying to say, well, I'm celebrating here. Do I do fill up the Franco I think I'm drinking. Show? Drinking more than I've ever drank in the shoe before. Anyway, that's really good. Do you want one of those? Hmm? Okay. How are you feeling, buddy? You, you, you okay? I'm mm -hmm. I need more. <laughs> anyway, um. No, 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 no. Dakota said he liked it the way we did it the first place when we used to just read from the shows or read And again, mm -hmm. I don't know if. Da I think Dakota's been here since day one originally. I guess so, yeah. High kick was the Philip DeFranco, which is funny because that's isn't that that's basically what we did the whole time anyway. What we still do now. It's more what we do now. Really? I, I because never watched. With how with how Phil does it, is he doesn't really break it up by categories or anything like that. But he does a daily show, and it's you know it's fifteen minutes, 
and he covers about three to five, maybe six stories. Do daily shows will be eight. Well, it's only fifteen minutes long. Yeah, that's but that, I mean, well, no, it's like isn't it like super cut? It doesn't have like good post production and stuff. Doesn't he? Have no, a he team? has. Yeah, he's a team of people. That's why. Yeah, we don't have that. I mean, we could. I mean, we could probably do. We could probably do a twenty-minute show. What for a week? No, every day. We could probably. But we do couldn't it. super cut it. We could do like this. Kind no, of no, thing. like if we'd keep this format. Not, not well, you know, we'll just we'll pick like you know whatever big story is of the day or previous day kind of thing. Just cover that. You know, a couple like. Do we want to switch to daily? Uh, I mean, so we can't do it sure. now, obviously. But when we get to Dallas, yeah, you know, we'll have a bit more. Well, ability. We'll have less free time at work, though. True, but I mean, it'll we'll have less free time at work, but it'll also be easier on us because instead of having to produce everything and get everything together, it's just you know what's going on right now. Hey, let's present it. So we'll just like look up what's going on. All right, so what's going on in your in, in the world today? Yeah, but we'll do that pre supercut it and then present it. Mm. Yeah, but that burns into the hours of game time because you you got to think about gaming time. I know, what, but but also, but also think first. about it. Is that it would save us the time that we spend here on Thursdays. Yeah, but I, I like devoting a whole day to this, because this is, this is a day for us. And, like, also remember, I have the anime show on Tuesday. I suppose that's true, too. So. I mean, we could just not do it on Tuesday. Or we could record a segment on Monday and release it on Tuesday. Yeah, there's the fucking whatever the fuck YouTube VOD system. Yeah. Or whatever. And I said no, Twitch No, no, it is a... It is, well, that's what I meant. Not YouTube, but I meant Twitch. Twitch has a, like... You know, quad broadcast or whatever. Yeah, so we could do that. So that means we get, you know, we yeah we spend more a bit more time. And actually, no, we don't because if, if it's twenty minutes, that means we'll only be spending an hour of actual screen time. Two, four, six, eight. Well, we do every, so we do it then well, except for weekends. An hour and a half, except for weekends. No, no, of course not weekends. Nobody does it weekends. Yeah. Fuck, fuck that. We're so, not weekend, so an hour, you know. So no, wait, if it's twenty minutes, minutes a piece, so it's it's two two four six eight ten. So a hundred so minutes. A hundred minutes. So an hour forty. An hour versus a normal two hour show. No, we're not really saving that much. No, but it also we does allow, actually. Cut. But it also does allow us to be more present. You know, it's like you know we're covering things as they're happening, or it's you know sure. what's happening right there versus. Hey, you know, people are waiting a week and trying to keep catch up with it. It's a two-hour show, which is hard to catch. I guess. You know, I mean, versus... like, it's the news. It's either you like it or you don't. Well, like, even regular news shows I suppose are so, but I mean, an hour long. To... I suppose so, but if it's, like, if I can catch a Philip DeFranco show or other, like, or, like, a lot of we, news... We YouTube... have to ultra-cut it then, like, you know. Maybe we could crush it down to, like, ten minutes. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. We can, like I said, we can do 15, 20 minutes, because that's the sweet spot of time. It's just past 15, but no greater than, like, 25 is the sweet spot of uh, content and algorithms. Mm. Um, at least for YouTube, that's what it is. Um, but, well, I guess, we're, but really, like, we're still doing, we would still be doing the streaming thing instead of YouTube. Because if we, if we go to Dallas, we get internet back, you know. Might not have fiber, mind you. Well, Depending on where we end up, but we, we'll have we'll have good th- we'll have three hundred by thirty. I think is the the well that's the minimum I can, I'm gonna go for. I think Spectrum actually offers four hundred by thirty. Yeah, which is what we have. But like I said, you know, or we can still upload to YouTube with a reasonable amount of time. Yeah. So like I said, you know, it'd give us a bit more time, and it also give us a bit more ability to be on the news. You know, it's like this happened Tuesday, and here are some updates to that story versus. This happened, you know, today, and then tomorrow. I was like, hey, for yesterday's show, we might have missed this, or we need to make a correction on that, or hey, this is an update to that story that we just covered two days ago kind of thing. Yeah. Also, hello, Aquafina. I was just, uh, I had chat. I had a busy talk in here. There we go. Hello. If I missed you, I apologize. Oh, I missed you. That's all right. You know. Well, hello, then. <laughs> You know, like, good name with the movie adaptation. <laughs> oh, yes, check the stats on virtual representative. Okay, I'll do right now. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have no patience for it. Oh, yes. I've got, uh... Two tickets to paradise? Two tickets to paradise, yeah. Now I got a, uh... What did I 
That's like an old tweet from forever ago. Uh, Jim John Mario followed me, and so did the health man. Before I think of radio talk show and podcast, we're looking for cutting edge health and wellness. Oh, this thing also apparently records HDR as well. What the? Oh, you're looking at the thing? Mm. It's not something about HDR. It's looking real fancy. Nice. Apparently, automatic login with facial recognition. Uh, that's one of those things. Yeah, no. thing. you can just, just come to your screen, just look at it, and just be like, I'm good. I don't want. I'm Let the good. Logitech know you. Nope. Let Windows remember. But then, what happens whenever like my eyes get a little bit slanty, like they're half open, and you know, I don't get recognized? I mean, it's, it's your face, the, not your eyes. I, I'm pretty sure it works with your eyes, though. Whenever facial rep does the like, deals with your eyes and your entire face, but yeah. <sighs> and it's not the, the proverbial uh, eye tracking thing. Uh, it's down. It's only down to 97. You only dropped 30. No, it dropped, it dropped 50, 70 cents. Mm-hmm. Or 30 cents. Uh, yeah, I only dropped 30. It's not bad. Yeah, but it lost all those gains. Gotta get those gains, bro. Yeah, it'll, it'll be back. Yeah. I, I, I believe in a thing called AMD. Just mm-hmm. you know, to the I believe in Lisa Sue. I know, right? I she's, want AMD. She's, I'm about she's to buy the woman who AMD. changed that company for the better. I'm about to buy it more AMD. I just bought a thousand extra shares. Or a thousand, thousand dollars worth. Like, just the other day? Like, yeah. Because it's super when it hard. dropped to, like, nine, mm-hmm. I dropped, well, a thousand bucks. Nice. It'd be nice to have money to do that with. And you will. You'll have two thousand something dollars, probably. Well, I saw it. I there's a lot of there's some spending I have to do since I haven't had money in a while. Yeah. Also, <laughs> we're going to be going out to eat a lot and fucking around a lot. No, we're not. Oh yeah, we are. I'm s- well. You can go. Kenneth, you're going to go out and fuck around with all my meat. It's going to be round one in fucking Korean bar. Oh around. no, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I mean. That gets expensive though. Like, yeah, every maybe. Shit. I mean, I'll limit it. I'll set a budget for it and shit. I'm not going to go crazy. It's like, well, oh well. Have fun. I'll be playing video games. Oh, go oh, you're also playing video games. Yep. Well, I'm playing fucking, um, basically VR motion gun simulator games. Like, or like the magic one. <coughs> the magic one was pretty cool too. That's funny. <laughs> Internet isn't working right now. Looks down at the unplugged switch. <laughs> I'm sure that's why. <laughs> I was half tempted to plug it back in. Like, you're like, so you're like you know, you can just plug it back in. I was like, yeah. But they might have something else wrong. Maybe. That would have been funny if that was it. Their IT team was just stumped the whole time. It's just like, like hmm. I don't I can't figure it out. The machines are broken. Buy new machines. <laughs> you buy now. Anyway. But yeah. Hmm. So those are some of the ideas and some of the things we're talking about, I guess, you know. Just talking live to it. Give us some some background, some real out real life, you know, real people. I mean, I'm taking shots out of a doom fucking shot glass here. Mm-hmm. You know, and, you know, and, and I hope they get back to you tomorrow, honestly. I certainly hope so. If they get back to you tomorrow, then they're moving in. Okay? There's no question to ask. Come on, do that. Just join, <laughs> join me. Join us. <laughs> join us. Yeah, so we're starting to look at more places too. Mm-hmm. But, uh, in a, in a, some tech news, because I want to cover this because it's important. So Facebook admits that they didn't lose not not fifty million, not just eighty seven million, but two billion people's information has been compromised. Yes. Also, by the way, that was Houston. So I was right. Yes, it was Houston. Yes, so a Facebook report, so buried in the announcement of their Cambridge Analytica that they had improperly gathered data, of 87 million up from 50, they yep. also reported that two that militia sectors had collected 2 billion people's information. Every single person on that site. That means, like, you know, I keep seeing, like, articles being shared by people about, you know, Facebook may owe $17,000 per person soon, or whatever. I don't think it's going to be that much, but there will be a class action suit, probably. And there will probably be some money. 
I mean, like, dude, even 25 or 50 bucks per person would be a lot for Facebook, but it would be, like, nice for everybody to opt into. Yeah, but how many people could you expect to get? Probably a couple hundred thousand. For what? In this class action lawsuit. Maybe not a couple hundred thousand. People. I mean, it'll be for probably tens of hundreds of millions. Yeah. Anyway, so apparently... So apparently, uh, information collected includes people's phone numbers, email addresses, names, ages, uh, birthdays, that kind of thing. Apparently it happened because uh, due to a disabled search function that was enabled at the time. And apparently people had their information set to... Live. See... When did this brave data breach happen? This happened a while ago, like a year It's ago. been happening for years. That's oh, the thing. Okay. Yeah, my stuff was set public for a while. For a reason. Yeah. No, not that I care. And the thing is, Facebook changes that automatically. Like, I've changed my public my profile to private. Mm -hmm. And then people still go bring it up. And I'm like, That's, you shouldn't be able to see that. But Facebook's just like, we automatically set your, pri your privacy settings to public. Well, it depends. If you ever, like, entered any one of those giveaways or something that posts publicly, it thereby changes all of your settings afterwards to public. Yeah, that's that's cool. what happens. Because, like, I did that, too. I had it set to friends for a while, and the minute you set something to public, it, everything else after that is automatically up to the last setting you had it to until you set it again back to whatever. That's ridiculous. You can actually retroactively set everything public and private up to a certain point. I think that's what I ended up doing. It's been sharing things too on Facebook too. Do you? Yeah, I think it No, I don't look at Facebook. I'm sure you don't look at Facebook. So we'll never see it. Huh. Huh. Whatever. Anyways, what I think that about covers it for today. Covers what? Everything? Yeah. Okay. And now with everything? Yep. I'd be back with the so Fan Expo Dallas. We just hung out with him yesterday. I was like, dude, if you got an extra extra ride, you know, you could have <laughs> just rode up there with him. Yeah. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us to Tabletop Thursday, episode 52. Yes. Please continue to join us on your weekly news broadcast every year, every day, every fucking Thursday. Every day, every day, every, every, year, day. every day, every Thursday. Every day, every Thursday at 8 p.m. CST. Yep. Uh, and also do check out this channel here on Tuesdays. They do an anime talk show with Harpy and a friend of ours, High Kick. Where they either talk about the, uh, what is it, seasonals? Yeah, seasonal that, animes. Seasonal or animes, or they have a special have guest. guest. Which, which the guest talk shows are always good, and the seasonals are always interesting to hear their commentary about what's happening and what they think is going to happen in the future. Speaking of which, the next show is a guest show. With uh, the usual unknown guests, because as I said last time on the last talk show, we never know until the day of. It's just the nature of the beast. So, seven. folks... I hope you'll join us again for another year watching the news. Watching us report. Yes. Sir. And is that? I'm going to go out with, her, with another one. So this is to you, our loyal friends. Friends and fans. As Kenneth is using an empty glass. You're damn right I am. <laughs> That's what you I, on the other hand, I'm going to take some more of this rum, mix it with that pineapple juice. To make a spa out of the sunrise, except I don't have to Grenadine. Grenadine. But there are some over there, I'm sure. But anyway, in any case, cheers to you, everybody. Have, have a good time. Well, what were you going to say? No, no, That's bad what I was going to say. Okay. It's Wallace here, for, you know, for me, us here at Table Talk Tuesday. It's been a great year. Again, as you said, hope to see and you one around more, for another year. And another year of excellent news. Peace out. The outro, and there we go. What? I was going to hit the outro, but I'm going to drink this first. <laughs> and now to the outro. And now I have a good night.